Hello, hello. Good morning. Actually, good morning. We're going to wait for people to to sign in. What's going on? What should we do? Welcome, welcome. So we're going to give it a couple of minutes, uh, one one or two more minutes, so we can start our uh, today's presentation. And uh, we want to welcome everybody that has uh, signed in and logged in uh, today's webinar. It's, it's your accountant hurting your business. Uh, we'll we'll see if if your accountant it's helping you or not helping you. Well, um, thank you for joining us. Thank you for tuning in into today's webinar. Is your accountant hurting your business? You are an entrepreneur and for the past three years who's been having good amount of success with your venture. Your business has been growing at a constant pace, bringing real solutions and value to your customers. You start thinking on what's the next step naturally how can i grow so you go on looking for investors not even two weeks pass by when you get a call from a potential business partner she's very interested in looking at your business financial statements before sealing the deal that's normal you think to yourself i have to call david as soon as possible to get this paperwork done 
David has been your tax guy since you started the business in your parents' garage. You start to get complex financial questions from your investors. You have to make big purchases and don't know if you can or cannot. You need to hire more employees, but can figure out the financials around it and have more and more questions when the money is going to. You turn to your tax guy and every question you ask him, he has a look of deer in the headlights. What? You have to get this answers quickly. What are you going to do? Does this sound familiar? Who are we? Invictus Advisors is an accounting and consulting firm that helps business owners manage and improve their profits. And who is Viral? Well, Viral the Shark Foa Espinosa. Uh, I've been uh, a uh, an accountant, CPA uh, with the CPA experience for over 20 years. Control to multiple multinational companies, binational, binational certifications, Mexico and the US, international taxation expert, business owner, entrepreneur, bestseller author, and TEDx speaker. Go figure. What are we going to cover today? First, how to know if your accountant is hurting your business. Top five questions business owners should be asking their accountant. Hurting your business. They do not ask you the tough questions. Is your accountant asking you critical, crucial, and pinpointing those heard uh, items to you? They do not add any value to your business. They just simply run your numbers, do your books, and that's it. You do not see them more than once a year. And that's on you. They have not provided recent advice to grow your business. They have not asked about your business future. How are they actually helping your business? Questions for your accountant, okay? So what you need to ask your accountant. The first, prior to going into this question, we need to ask ourselves, is my accountant an accountant or a bookkeeper? Is the person who's doing or handling my books so I can make educated decisions being proactive? Is the person that I provide bank statements, receipts, invoices truly helping me grow? So here are the five top questions you need to ask your accountant. Number one, I am generating sales in my business, but it is always seemed like I'm tied in cash. How do I change this? I have, I have an interesting story about this. Today, uh, we just finished a executive phone call uh, I am part of one of multiple board of directors for several companies, uh, international and local companies. And the main question was, how are we generating sales? How are we selling? Sales have declined. How are we selling? Immediately as their accountant, well, in this case, as their CFO, their chief financial officer, I immediately went and say, hey, you know what? Have we recorded sales? Have we heard to the sales? Have we trained our sales team? Our investment in 
marketing, it's this over my sales. I actually was pinpointing hurt items for the owner to identify why are their business tied in cash? Are you asking your accountant, am I ge I'm generating sales, but where's the cash? Question number two, how do I lower my tax bill? It seems like so much of the money I make, it's going to taxes. Well, if you see your accountant once a year, it's impossible for you to really plan and be proactive when it comes to your finances. Who is responsible for your company finances? Who is responsible for your company taxes? If you don't ask the hard questions, you won't get true answers. But the question is, is your accountant proactively seeking your attention to get those responses? How can I lower my tax bill? That should be a secondary concern in your business. Your primary concern in your business is, how do I grow my business? Question number three. Okay, tax planning makes total sense to lower my tax bill. How often should I meet with you to discuss tax planning and other business planning items? If they answer oh, just at the end of the year, run. You should be meeting with your accountant minimum four times a year. When you go to your tax preparer, David, on April the 14th, there's nothing to be done. We accountants cannot work miracles. There's nothing we can done, there's nothing we can do to turn back time. There's nothing. Question number four, what are some routines I should make sure I include as part of my business planning, especially around the financial areas of my business? Your accountant should be able to help you identify those processes that's what we call the routines, those processes to maximize your profit. Your accountant will be able to tell you is the interpretation for each word that I am using. Revenue, profit, expense, investment, cost of goods sold, inventory, accounts receivable, accounts payable, and so forth. You must just know them and know how to identify in those routines because the only reason you are in business it's because you want to generate wealth and create something for you grow your business question number five how much cash should i have in the bank at any given time that's a very hard question to ask your accountant if you're only meeting him once a year. Go figure. You remember also that if you Google it, you're gonna get a very generic response to, oh, you must have three to six months of cash in your bank for your fixed expenses. First of all, do you understand what fixed expenses are and which are they? Second, each industry, it's different. And there's a bonus question here. What financial questions should I be asking that I am not asking? 
I think that if we went over all these questions, we will be here for the rest of the week. But some of those questions are, how can I maximize my profit based on my current revenue? That's a hard question that you should be asking your accountant. And if they don't know how to answer it, you're in trouble. You're in trouble because if you're entrusting them also with your taxes, I would actually want to review them, help you identify 25, 40, $50,000 in taxes overpaid. I know this information can be a lot to handle, but we can help you. We are offering a 30 minute financial business review to provide you specific questions for your business to ask your current accountant. This review is for someone who, first of all, needs some help with their fine business financial picture, would like a quick second opinion on their financials. We are not here to batch any accountant, any bookkeeper, any CPA, listen, doesn't like their accountant or doesn't have one and needs some help picking a new one. This review is not for someone who does not want to listen to and implement advice, so stay away, can make fast, quick action decisions, is just price shopping. We will be upfront. You will find people cheaper than us. This review will help you with some ideas on how to have an accountant be your partner and advocate for your business. Go over some possible strategies to grow your business. Show you some ways to break up with your accountant if needed. So what you need for this review? Current set of financials. That would be probably pretty much the first thing you're gonna ask your accountant. Can I have a set of financials up to month end? Thick skin. We are very honest, straightforward, cutthroat. I do not sugarcoat things when it comes to growing your business. This is to help you not hurt you. So are you ready? Are you ready to take the next action or the next step for you to grow your business and have somebody else focus on your finances while you focus on your future and your business? Schedule a call with one of our team members or even myself at Invictus hyphen advisors slash accountant. We are here to help you, not hurt you. We are here to look out for your being. But first, you need to be willing to grow. Let's open it for questions. been a pleasure uh, uh, providing you some information. I hope you take action. I hope you take the next step to grow your business. If it's not with us, seek for some support and help and uh, see you next time.